black gone green. Porous Asphalt is a new green product that is both economical and environmentally friendly. Porous Asphalt is truly a pervious pavement that allows water to penetrate through to the sub-base, which acts as an underground stormwater management facility. Here is a conventional paving section in this parking lot prior to installing the porous pavement. Standard hot mix asphalt does not allow water to penetrate through it, forcing the water to sheet flow across the pavement until it reaches the inlet. After consulting an engineer to design the porous paving section, the excavation is ready to begin. Existing pavement is removed and excavated to the designed subgrade. Next is the installation of the required perforated piping, underdrain, and valve. Ashto number 2 stone is installed for the recharge bed. Next, a 3 8 inch stone trigger course is placed over the recharge bed to stabilize the surface for the paving equipment. After fine grading the trigger course, the recharge bed is ready for the placement of the porous pavement. The production of asphalt begins with a loader filling the cold feed bins with the different raw aggregates that are stockpiled on site. Based on the mixed design, a computer meters the raw aggregates onto a conveyor belt where it is monitored by sensors to keep the mix consistent. The belts then deposit the raw aggregates onto the main belt that leads into the drum. Once the aggregate enters the drum, they are exposed to a hot gas stream so they can be heated and dried. Moving further into the drum, the liquid asphalt cement is added as well as any necessary additives and mixed well. The asphalt then exits the mixing drum onto the drag slat that transports the mix to the silo for storage. From the silo, it is released into a truck for transport to a job site. Once arriving at the job site, the truck then unloads the porous asphalt into a material transfer device. The use of a material transfer device is optional based upon job site conditions. Porous asphalt still has the flexibility for it to be handled as needed. After the paver is done placing the porous asphalt, the mix may need to cool before beginning compaction. The asphalt should be compacted with two to four passes using a static roller. A final pass 
of a light roller may be required to remove roller marks from the surface after the mix has cooled substantially. In conclusion, porous asphalt pavements allow stormwater storage to operate in an environmentally friendly way as they uphold infiltration, improve water quality, recharge groundwater, and keep the flow of runoff in line with non-developed areas.